Hey Noah, here's your sermon recap from last week. It was great to worship with you as we looked at Zechariah chapter 3 and really a look at the gospel and even had the opportunity to welcome in four new members here at the family in Knollwood. God is so good and Zechariah chapter 3 is such a great reminder of that for you and for me. We stand before God as sinners with these dirty clothes and we looked at how God cleanses us and closes us and then sends us out. And in Zechariah chapter 3, Joshua stands to be judged with Satan ready to accuse. And Joshua stands silent. Why? Because the accusations are right. But God steps in and tells Satan to really shut up and says that he has taken the iniquity from Joshua, that not only has he done that, not only has God done that, but he has given him clean clothes. In Zechariah chapter 3 verses 4, it says, Remove the filthy garments from him. And to him he said, Behold, I have taken your iniquity away from you, and I will clothe you with pure vestments. What an amazing reminder of what God has done for us through the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. Jesus died for our sins and rose again. What an amazing truth. We, at one point, we stood before God accused, but through Jesus' death and his resurrection, we have been cleansed and sent out. There is no more condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. So based on what Jesus has done for us, let us go out proclaiming what he has done for us and what he offers to those who repent and believe. Let us be faithful disciples ourselves who go and make disciples of Jesus Christ because for those who have been forgiven of sins and been blessed by God, we should invite others to share in it too. We stand before a God accused, but through Jesus Christ's death and resurrection, we have been made clean and sent out. What an amazing truth. I'm looking forward to worshiping with you this Sunday as we gather together to look at Zechariah chapter four and remember what God has done for us as we take part in communion. See you Sunday at 10 a.m.